Hey guys, Adam Hart here. Here's what a max Peacekeeper City looks like. Now first, here's all the Peacekeeper rewards. Car traps, PK bolt cannon, electrical traps, crossbow pack, which includes a crossbow and a set of unique elemental bolts, Molotov lanterns, pendulum traps, and UV traps. There you have it guys, there's all the rewards for the Peacekeeper. Now I'm going to show you guys some free roam gameplay using these rewards against zombies and volatiles so you guys can see how well these rewards do and whether or not you want to go down the Peacekeeper route. So here's some max Peacekeeper gameplay. Okay, let's see if we can get a close up. Nope, he's it. They're ignoring the car trap. So that is good to know. This is scary. Even with the shotgun. <laughs> oh my gosh! So here is a wall of light during uh, a chase. So there's a volatile. As you can see. But let's get really close and see how long this lasts on them. Actually, no, let's not do that. That's gonna get me killed. Okay, there. It, it ended. So, oh, okay, yeah, there's the answer. Okay, they're all right there. They're all right there. Get him, get him, get him! Trying to get that, trying to get that close up. Trying to get that close up right now. Oh, it, it hit him. Did it take away damage though? I don't know because I'm dead. <laughs> one, two. Okay, so it takes three shots to kill him. I just couldn't do the third one because I got hit. So it takes three shots to kill Volatile with a PK cannon. There it is. There was the third shot, and the Volatile is dead. And if you find a... There. Hey, let's go. So if you find a sweet spot like this, guys, you can just go back and forth from the cannons. What's happening with that zombie over there? It's glitching up. And if all else fails, pull out the doom shoddy. Oh god. That's, that's so satisfying. Now let's see how electric traps do on these guys now. Let's get them over here. Does it kill him entirely? No. Hey, yeah, you like those moves, buddy? It barely does anything. There's the answer. <laughs> it barely does anything to them. I'm just trying to hold it together here. The thudding of their feet, and when it was several of them as well, it's just terrifying. This man just ran across it! There's a Molotov lantern right there. And we are in Central Loop, but they're also in Old Villador. Now, we can shoot it with the crossbow, I think. Let's test it. I don't have my crossbow equipped right now because it glitches out the Doom shotgun, guys. And I won't be able to shoot my shotgun for a little bit. It messes up the reload. But we're gonna equip the crossbow. There we go. And there it is. And now for the crossbow. It's the fourth reward on the left, as you can see right there. And let me show you guys this. It is the best weapon in the game, besides from that the doom shotgun and it scales to your level as you level up so right now it's 630 damage for me which is insane you can aim down sight with r3 once you have the precise aim and skill and you can slow down time with r2 once you have the parkour shot so we're going to jump off here press r2 to slow down and then r3 to aim down sight Oh, that felt good. Another tip is once it goes away because you just climbed, for instance, if you press square, it doesn't reload. So you have to press R3 to bring it up, and then you can press square to reload it. Let's talk about bolts. Hold the right direction button to bring them up. We have regular crossbow bolts, toxic, freeze, stun, impact, and lacerated bolts. Lacerated and impact are the ones that do the most damage. Stun is useful if you want to follow it up with C4 and mines and all that kind of stuff. Here you can see toxic bolts, require scraps, feathers, and cleaning supplies. Freeze bolts, you can see the crafting changes a little bit. 
Lacerating, Impact, Stun, and Normal Crossbow Bolts right here. Let's go through all the bolts now. Normal Crossbow Bolts, Toxic Bolts. So let's go ahead and find a big guy because these guys are just getting obliterated. I found you. Come here, boy. We're going to use you for an experiment. Normal crossbow bolts. There's the damage as you see. Toxic bolts. See that green stuff? Uh, freeze bolts. Let's get him out of the way. Let's hit him with another freeze bolt. It's slowing his movement down a little, I think. Stun bolt. Impact bolt. See how it knocks them back? That one's really powerful. And lacerated bolts. Takes damage away from them over time. Watch his health. And we're hit him with another lacerated. And there you have it, guys. The crossbow and every single type of bolt. And now for the fire rate. We're going to shoot this as fast as possible. And there you go. That's the fire rate on it. You can also shoot cans like that. You can shoot Molotov Lanterns. You can quickly kill a Howler to prevent a Night Chase from happening. It's just so useful. Another tip you can utilize once you have the crossbow is you can dupe it. And then once you dupe it, you create bolts when you take it out of your stash. As you can see, we just generated a bunch of bolts. And that way you can hook your friends up with bolts. You can quickly get more bolts yourself without having to crap them. But this only works with normal bolts, but it's still pretty awesome. 1,913 XP. Nah, nah, we gotta make that 2,000. With 2,000! Ah, yes. Nope, you're not going anywhere. <laughs> Man had perfume on him. Man never got that date. Give me that XP, let's go. So now you guys have seen all of the rewards, car traps, PK Razor Cannon, electrical traps, crossbow pack, Molotov Lanterns, pendulum traps, and UV traps. That is the order you unlock everything in. Now, I can't explain this. I think it started when my friend and I had our games merged and I unlocked his survivor rewards. And at first I only had one, and over time, I've gotten more, and I just noticed this third one, literally right now. And I don't think that's supposed to happen, but I'm getting them, so it's a glitch I actually like in this game. And so theoretically, you can get rewards on both sides. And we, our games merged when we were just doing co-op, and we were just doing a story mission together. So you can purposely try that if you want to try to replicate this. I think that's how I did it. And it's really cool because if you manage to do this, you can combine these rewards. Like right now, I'm going to show myself going on an airbag and using the crossbow at the same time. Maybe this is supposed to happen in some way, but I'm pretty sure you're only supposed to have just one side. I tell people if I could do it again, I would just get the crossbow, which is the fourth reward on the left side for Peacekeeper. And then I would just go Survivor rewards after that so you can move around the city better. Because you really just need the crossbow for fighting. You don't really need the other rewards. There's also the Doom Shotgun, which you could have someone drop for you. And with that being said, if you enjoyed this, like and subscribe for more. Comment below if you have any questions or would like to see something next. And to watch my streams, you can see them here on this channel. Thanks for watching, guys. 